itakuwaje wakati mzazi wako anakuambia kwamba ni lazima uolewe wewe ni mwanafunzi ama labda umesoma ukafuzu lakini una goals in life una mambo ambayo umepanga katika maisha unataka kuyafikia but then inafikia kwamba wazazi wanasema kwamba you have to be married na to, to go to a larger extent wamekuchagulia mtu ambaye atakuoa wewe ni binti how will you take this utalichukua namna gani jambo hili na je bado uhusiano wako na wazazi utaendelea ama namna gani bila shaka hili ni swala tata na haya tutakuwa tunayazungumza hii leo katika hangout for peace karibu shalet yes na, na, can, can you tell us uh, tell me supposing your, your father tells you that there's a man who is supposed to marry you how will you take it someone whom you've not chosen by your own self okay first i will feel bad dad didn't give me that freedom to choose and once again i feel like i'm constrained i have my own goals have my own time to make every decision so nitasikia vibaya is it right kwamba mzazi wako anakuchagulia mtu i believe uh umesoma i believe as you work una mambo yako ambayo umetanga in life you want to achieve is it right kwamba dadi ama mom wanakuchagulia uh, ndoto yako na kukuambia kwamba no stop working ama endelea kufanya kazi but then you have to get married hapana si vizuri kwa sababu kila mtu ako na time yake yenye anataka you have your own your own like views to give out and your own things to do so you have your own right time to choose dada amekwambia now shallet stop this he is a man to marry you how will you feel in your heart i will feel bad mm-hmm. and uh, but i won't react so fast mm-hmm. i will take time to gauge everything you know sometimes maybe you can be working you can you can dwell so much on your job on your education and forget about some things they are also there to remind you you know wasichana wengi ambao many times wanajipata kwamba wako katika position ambayo ni ni ngumu hawezi ku argue na mzazi and away the two things kwamba hawezi kukosana na mzazi at the same time anataka achieve ndoto yake then this is a man ambaye wewe humjui you have never met this guy you don't love the man but then ameletwa na it's like mzee anasema kwamba imani ama mambo yetu ya dini anasema kwamba mzazi talk is the final thing how about this okay me i'm lucky i have those parents who are there to listen you know they understand but for those people who have parents don't understand mm. then I guess it's something to, to tell god talk to god about it mm. give yourself time go pray and i believe god is everything god will answer you god will see you through look at this uh, a place like ne- a country like nigeria mm-hmm. uh, uh, a sect ama watu wanaojiita boko haram wamekuja na wakachukua mabinti from a school wakaenda nao in a bush wame kidnap and then wameenda waka wa force into marriage as a lady put yourself in those in their shoes how do you feel about that kwamba umekuja ukachukuliwa na watu watu ambao huwajui wanakulazimisha wengi katika misingi yao ya dini and then achana na whatever you are doing you are forced into marriage i think i will abide with what they are saying if at all i don't have a choice and then into that marriage then i will restrict myself from doing something how do you say na you know yeah what if you had a choice kwamba uh, you so you said that you don't have a choice then you will abide by what they are saying mm-hmm. But then you don't have a choice. Uwezi toka, the place is a it's a cocoon umefungiwa. Uwezi toka ni it's a fenced area, it's heavily guarded. Uwezi toka when the other place. You don't have an option. What would you do? Simply abiding with them. Mm. There's nothing else but Okay. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. Okay, it's so hard, mm. but mm. the only thing mm. ni ku when you're in that marriage mm. Then don't be a wife material, no. Just be bad. Just be bad in any way that you can think of. Mm. Be bad to the man. Mm. At last he can like give you out. What advice? Ama what can you say about wale ambao wamepitia such a situation kwamba wamekuwa forced wasichana wamepatiwa like kuolewa kwa lazima. I believe in marriage kuna namna mtu anafaa kujichagulia mwenyewe likes and dislikes. Yeah. Na wale ambao wanapitia this unaweza ukawaambia nini? There is law mm. that protects us mm. ladies yeah mm. so 
talk to anyone. There are even lines, children, mm. whatever, mm. that you can talk to. Talk to people who can help you. There is law, I mm. believe. Mm. And there are people who are there, out there to help mm. such kind of people. What about the parents? Wale ambao wana wana force watoto wao into marriage in the Kenyan setup ama in the African setup kuna jamii ambazo wana wanaoza watoto wao hata wengine ni mabinti wachanga mm -hmm. what can you tell them it's so bad mm -hmm. it's good to give your child mm -hmm. that freedom mm -hmm. and again let the child have the responsibility of owning a choice you know mm -hmm. we have to own it's it's, the, it's an era of us owning our choices and being responsible of what we want to do mm -hmm. but again i will say like choosing a marriage partner them choosing a marriage partner for us it's not good, but our child will always seek and listen to their advice because parents are those people who are once where we are, they have passed through what we are passing through, they know better, you know, so get to learn from them, but them choosing a marriage partner for us, no. It's a no for you. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, but their advice and, you know, their experience is what I can go for. So the responsibility of the parent is to guide you and yeah, not sure. to push you into this. Exactly. Many people are passing through such kind of a situation. But what we what are we going to do? Tutafanya namna gani kwamba ni watu ambao wameumbwa na Mungu, ni watu ambao wako kwa society tunaishi na wao. Itakuwaje watu kama hawa tuishi na wao. Mungu atusaidie sisi wote na tuwapende. Charlotte amesema kwamba wazazi jukumu lao ni kutuongoza na kutupatia uhusia. Lakini la muhimu kabisa waachie eh, binti wafanye maamuzi yao kwa sababu swala la ndoa ni swala ambalo mtu anafaa kutiambia mwenyewe na bila shaka maisha yake yatakuwa ya amani na ya baraka